Welcome to That Rot Life. This is my family's YouTube channel where we traditionally share uh, daily day-to-day -day things and things about us and funny things that we've done. But this time it's going to be another sublimation tutorial. And we'll get right into it. Okay, here we go. This tutorial is how we're going to sublimate on clear HTV. This stuff, this is what it looks like. It looks like etched glass, frosty kind of stuff. But anyway, the benefit of this stuff is you can sublimate on it and you can heat transfer it onto your cotton or dark colored t-shirts. So what I'm gonna do is we're gonna flip around the camera and I'm gonna show you the Silhouette Studio. Okay, so here I have my screen pulled up. I pulled up the image that I want to print, and I'm gonna take y'all step by step how I do this. I'm gonna start with my image. This is a JPEG image, and I'm gonna get rid of the white background because I only wanna cut this image. So first thing I'm gonna do is go to my trace panel, and I'm gonna select trace area. I'm gonna take my cursor, I'm going to move it over the image that I want. I'm just getting rid of the white background at this moment. If you don't know how to do that, there's a quick tutorial here also. Now, it has highlighted part of my image. So the way that we work around that is go to the threshold and increase it. And you can tap up here one at a time. Or you can take, if you move in the space to the right and just click, It'll increase it. So I want to increase until I have it all the way to the edge, which I do right now. And this we don't have to worry about as long as most of it is filled and it goes all the way to the edge. So the button I'm going to select is all the way down here on the bottom and it is trace and detach. And what it'll do is it will trace my entire image and remove that white background that we don't want. Did I? Oh, okay. I was wondering if I clicked it. Okay. So here now, and you watch, if you click on this white, look at there, it got rid of all of it for you. Now, the reason I want to do that is because I'm going to have to cut my heat transfer vinyl, my clear heat transfer vinyl. Now, this process is very similar to subbing on white glitter HTV. If you want a tutorial on that, also comment in the comment box and I can do another tutorial. It's very, very, very similar. So what you're gonna do is, this is the image I'm going to print. And since it is heat transfer, you're going to flip horizontally, you're gonna mirror the image, whether you mirror it now or later. I mirror mine now. Um, I've already printed it. I printed it earlier before I started filming. Um, the other thing, this is what I'm gonna print. So I would send that to my printer and I would cut it out and this, it's already been, there we go. It's already been done. Here, let me turn the camera. Okay, I printed it and I cut close to the edge. So that's one part done. So we've got our printing. Now we're gonna cut. I'm gonna show you what to do next. Now that we're ready to cut, this is a printable file, but it's not a cuttable file. So we're gonna trace again. So I'm gonna go to my, tra my trace panel's already up. I'm gonna select trace area. I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna highlight everything. And again, it's gonna trace, looks like it did before. It's gonna trace, yep, looks just like that. Go to the threshold, increase the threshold. It should be in the 90s, 93 is good. Now, instead of selecting trace and detach, you're going to trace outer edge. It's very important. If you select trace, it's gonna trace all of this. And that's not what you want. You only want the circle that's what you're going to cut trace outer edge now we have our printable image that's what we're going to print and this is what we're going to cut it's already been mirror reverse so technically you could go over here change your settings i have it set to no machine because i printed you can change your settings to cameo there we go. It's going to bring my cutting mat back. Um, I'm going to change it to my paper side at 12 inches wide. And I can now I can run this through my cutter. Remember, it's already mirror reversed. 
my printable image is already mirror reverse so this is ready to cut and so I've already ran it through the cutter and this stuff it's kind of tricky it's hard to tell which side is the transfer um, I will say that the tramp the backing of the transfer is a lot smoother this feels a little more of like a matte once you get the product you'll see and I'll put a link in the description box where I bought this um, clear HTV now when I went to run it through my cutter okay I went over to my corner and I played with it to see which side was the transfer tape and which side was the HTV and I was able to pull just a tiny bit now I know um, which side the HTV is on yeah one side is smoother it's tricky if I were you I would play with the corners to make sure it's not as clear cut as HTV you know you have the matte side and the shiny side shiny side this one it's very hard to tell okay so now it's just a circle we have it weeded out and we're gonna go to the heat press okay I wanted to show you guys the shirt really quick I just pulled this out of my closet we're not practicing on a a customer shirt or anything this is something out of my closet it is a comfort colors 100% cotton it's pink and I the benefits of this process I think if someone would want if they specifically want um, a cotton t-shirt or if they wanted a dark colored t-shirt so we're gonna put this on the press really quick okay I'm gonna do my pre-press Now, I'm going to lay my uh, heat transfer. I'm gonna lay it face down. This doesn't have to be perfect, this is the practice shirt. Okay. Now, I'm gonna lay my parchment paper, or whatever you use, some people use butcher paper. And Okay, I'm going to press the heat transfer vinyl for five to seven seconds. Let's see, back and forth. All right. Okay, so you see I have my HTV on the shirt. This has to cool completely before you peel it off. So we're going to let that cool, then come back and put the image on. Here we are in the next step of the process. I wanted you guys to see what it looks like. It is a little frosty looking. It's clear, but you can see, at least you can see where the vinyl is. Okay, I have my paper on the um, HTV. I have my print. I secured it with a little bit of heat tape. I'm going to let that press for 60 seconds, and then we'll do the big reveal. All right, our 60 seconds is up. It should be ready. I'm kind of nervous, but anyway, let's see how it looks. Oh, and I forgot to mention that I did press this at 400 degrees, just like any regular sublimation project. And there you have it. There is a sublimation print on a cotton shirt i think that looks pretty good i think the image turned out really good um if you look up close that's probably where the paper was off just a little bit but back up just a little bit and you can't tell i think it looks great i do think the image is a little a little crooked but this is a practice shirt and that is okay so there you go guys that was the process for subbing on clear htv onto a fully cotton shirt I hope I was clear with the tour. I hope I was clear with the instructions. If you have any additional questions, put them in the comment section. If you want to see any other tutorials, put those in the comment sections. Let me know which I would like to see. Um, I hope y'all like this tutorial. Uh, make sure you like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks!